It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, basketball fans. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight, we'll see the Toronto Raptors playing against the Chicago Bulls. Chicago is one of the teams right now playing very consistently. They have been a team on a mission this season. Best record in the NBA. We're getting deep into the schedule now, and they continue playing dominant basketball. For a few seasons now, we've seen the Raptors find a lot of success in the regular season, but they really have trouble making a postseason run. Why is that, Jet? Well, they rely a lot on their perimeter players, and that could be dangerous because sometimes, you know, perimeter shots can be off. And then they really don't have a defensive stopper, Ernie. And you know, we all know they play the up-tempo game, Ernie, but when it slows down in the postseason, look to take charge at the Air Canada Center here in downtown Toronto. Only one game away from Chicago here. The Bulls will be back home for the next one. What a story right now for these guys. Win after win. It's been a phenomenal stretch. And they've had the edge against this team. Winning the first two matchups with four total on the season. They look to continue that advantage here tonight. Keep the foot on the gas pedal in that case, Greg. You know what I say. If you can handle that, keep it down, man. Don't let them up. So I'm thinking they're looking for the knockout blow here. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So for Chicago right now, Rose is the one with Butler as the two. Mira touch out there with Freak, and it's McDermott in at the small forward. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game, you know, getting the ball inside early. And, and it worked to perfection, Clark, on that possession. We'll see how that plays out in terms of being a big part of their game plan. Rose, no good. Last outing for Chicago. They won that game against Miami. And, guys, that was their night. I mean, it seemed like everything they shot went in. It happens that way sometimes, guys. It was just one of those games where the hot shooting of a couple of players became contagious and nobody was stoppable. And that one's good. Freak. Lowry against Rose. Lowry up top. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Patterson, the screen. Shot clock at six. Chicago grabs the miss. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Shots good by Butler. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Now, here's Lowry. His last outing, he had eight points. Alan Junis with a screen on Butler. Passes it to Patterson. Can't get it to go. And the Bulls going the other way now. Rose with the ball. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Now, here's Lowry. It's a five-point game. It's Patterson atop the key. Lowry against Rose. Valanciunas 
That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Alan Junis has got his second bucket of the game to go. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kev, Quinn Schneider gave me a few moments to catch up with him. He said that their defensive focus, no surprise, will be trying to keep Derrick Rose out of the lane. He added, you know he's come a long way as an outside shooter, but he's a pick-your-poison type of player. We can't let him get into the paint. Makes sense, Kevin. All right, Doris. Free kicks to Miritich. And that one's good. Everything going according to the script for them offensively so far. Clark, shots be falling. That's for sure. They're scoring with a tremendous amount of confidence. <laughs> you went straight playground old school there, partner. Here's Patterson. After the basket by Nikola Miritic. Now the Bulls with it. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. That pushes it to double digits. 12 points for Freak. How about the start that they've gotten off to here? Huge lead, and we're still in the first quarter. And, guys, it hasn't just been the scoring. I mean, they're playing tremendous defense, too. are players that have a job to do and they've been doing it very well. Here's a look at the top passing point guards in the NBA over the course of the past 10 games. Derrick Rose is only third. And these are the best passers in the NBA. No question about it. Every one of them is willing and able to be the floor general out there and make sure the offense is running at full speed. And that's the thing to me. I mean, as exceptional as their assist numbers are, it's their leadership and that ability to direct their offense. That's what makes them stand out. Now, here is Lowry. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with his team. He told Gasol that he wants their offense to run through him. Coach putting the pressure squarely on his shoulders by asking him to be the key man in the offense. It's not something they ask of him every game, but when they do, he can usually handle it. We'll be watching how these adjustments work. Kev, there's still a lot of time left in this game. And as always, Doris, thank you. It's tipped. Butler in the corner. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Butler's got five points so far. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Lowry dishes to Valanciunas. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. And he just leaves the D in the dust and, and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, uh, Clark, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? It could be, Kevin. I mean, a dunk like that can sometimes get an opponent reeling. Some changes for Toronto. Hollis Thompson's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas for Terrence Ross. And it's Joseph in for Kyle Lowry. And the Bulls making a change also. Chalmers has checked in. Now here's Joseph. He's coming off a 10-point game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. The wide-open look here for DeRozan. No good from the wing. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. And Freak gets it to go on the assist by Rose. Rose has got his eighth assist here tonight. And Joseph kicks to Thompson. The dish now to DeRozan. Off the pick, and he dunks it after the pick frees him up. <laughs> and did you see the screen that was set for him? I mean, that was how he got to the hoop. It was the classic screenplay. It won't show up in the box score, but that screen deserves an assist. Absolutely, Kevin. I mean, that took the defender right out of the play. Joseph with the ball, and Rose picks him up defensively. Here's Joseph. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Thompson sets the pick for Joseph. Off the pick. Gasol with the rebound. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. 
and an overpowering first quarter effort. And DeMar DeRozan, the star for this Toronto Raptors team, he said he wants to bring them back. A lot of people never really pay no attention to the Raptors. Let's face it, it's never easy for Toronto to get the attention. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Freaks checked in for Noah. Gasol comes in for Portis. McDermott's checked in for Miritich. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Butler. So the Bulls five right now. Freak in its center. McDermott and Gasol, the duo at the forward. Chalmers is out there with Derrick Rose. Lowry against Rose. Lowry drives in. Pass to Valanchunas. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got three assists tonight. I love how he used his height advantage on that shot. And he had the nice, soft touch with it, too. Got that one up quick. And that's now 20 points for Freak. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Inside, Patterson. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. He always knows where his teammate's going to be. And, Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And one look at the box score will confirm that. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. Now here's Rose. Patterson bringing the double. And the rejection by Valanciunas. And the shot is good. Raptors trail by 14. Outside Lowry. Pass to Ross. Back to Lowry. Just four to shoot. And it's Freak with the rebound. Freak's got his fourth rebound in this one. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the half. Fade away. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. Freak's got four this quarter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. And it's Lowry penetrating. Takes a shot at the elbow. They get it back. Shot is off. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Here's Freak. The three-pointer no good. Toronto's gotten fond of that three-point shot here in the second quarter. Four of nine. Rose against DeRozan. Patterson, the screen. DeRozan passes to Lowry. And again, Toronto no luck. So as we conclude the first half... see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Always been a dynamic scorer, and, and we saw in that first half the entire repertoire on display. Yeah, he's a hard man to keep down, and so far they haven't found the answer for him. I don't know if there is an answer for him, quite honestly.
Here's Lowry. Lowry and DeRozan are the guard tandem. Patterson is the four with Valanciunas in the middle. And it's Ross in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Freak. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Heat was simply terrific. He ended up with 53 points and, as always, piling up rebound after rebound as well. Just absolutely incredible numbers from him in a game you didn't want to miss. So glad we were here to watch it, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. It really was a stunning performance. He was at his absolute best in that game. And if he can come anywhere close to another performance like that here tonight, it would be amazing. Yeah, it really would be because you know now the defense is going to be focused squarely on him. They're going to make sure that he doesn't beat him again. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now here's Ross. He's got 11. Miracic grabs the miss. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketballs. Had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. Now here's Lowry following the miss by Freak. Valanciunas, but they recover it. Outside Lowry, four on the clock. Tries again. Offensive rebound. Well, it was only a matter of time that they finally get the bucket. 11 points now for Valanciunas. Well, you know your low post players are going to take a lot of trips to the foul line. So it helps to have big men who can drain free throws like this group can. Freak number one. And with those numbers at the free throw line, he should be trying to get there as often as possible. I mean, operating among the big bodies in the paint, he gets those chances. Yeah, and it allows him to be physical. A defender has to be careful not to body him up and make too much contact because then you send him to the line, and those are points that usually are automatic. Here's Joseph following the basket by Freak. From 12 feet out, no good off the front iron. For the Raptors, they come in off the loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. And that result was no surprise because they played very loosely with the basketball. They sure did. There's no question about it. And when you come out on the wrong end of the turnover battle, you're often going to be on the wrong end of the scoreboard as well, Greg. You know that. That's tipped. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Rose dishes to Freak. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And now that's 35 points for Freak. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. The Raptors shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Biombo is checked in for the Raptors. Thompson comes in for DeMar DeRozan, and he makes both free throws. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Noah, the screen. He dishes it to Rose. There's the pass to Freak. And stolen by Patterson. Banked in off the glass. Patterson's got four points in the quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And for the Raptors, they're shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. And Joseph kicks to Patterson. Here's Powell. Good on the 13-footer. Powell's got his first two points. And really smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. He showed nice basketball IQ. I agree, Greg. I mean, if he finds his spot on the perimeter and doesn't force it, I think his outside shot will be hard to block no matter who's defending it. Patterson a screen on Butler. Here's Powell. 
and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. That's on Joakim Noah. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Chicago. Boy, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in right, both now. halves. More take than break. a few of their take baskets have come off assists. Two shots. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond, and they've made this thing look easy. Warren's checked in for Toronto. Chicago also making some changes. Pau Gasol has checked in for Freak. Portis comes in for Joe Both teams making some changes here. Chalmers against Lowry. Outside Butler. Got a piece of it. He gets stolen by Lowry. Takes the three. And no good trying to get that one. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Bulls running away with it. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. The Bulls leading by 23. Taking a look at the Bulls. Rose is the one with Butler is the two. Freak is out there with Ilyasova. And it's McDermott in at the three. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been given a medicine. Lowry against Rose. Now, here's Lowry. Just five on the clock. An easy two points on the layup. Well, that's simply a great move there, Kevin. He dusted off the defense and got to the cup for the easy basket. The Bulls shooting extremely well. 62% on the night to this point. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. You take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect it. Mitch McGarry's checked in for Biombo. And the Bulls making a change here as well. Joakim Noah's checked in for Ilyasova. And it's the Bulls with the ball. They get the rebound. Noah. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. Shot clock at six. DeRozan passes to McGarry. Here's Valanciunas. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. For Chicago, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. And it's Freak missing. Not really sure what he was thinking about on that shot. That is not high IQ basketball. Not at all. I mean, he shouldn't even have considered taking that shot. Just a poor, poor choice there. DeRozan against Butler. Outside DeRozan. Three-pointer. And it's Freak with the rebound. Freak's got his eighth rebound here tonight. For three. And the Bulls get it back. McGarry with the steal. And now as Raw's running, he can go all the way. Finishes the Freak with a slam. Excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition, to attack when it's there, because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor. And the Raptors making a change here. Patterson's checked in. Miritich is checked in for Chicago. Rose dishes to Butler. To the paint. Here's Freak. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got four assists in the game. This guy's putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Screen by Valanciunas. And DeRozan kicks to Lowry. Back to DeRozan. In the corner, it's Patterson. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Freak's got nine rebounds now tonight. At the elbow, McDermott. And a wide open look for Freak. Nails the wide open jump shot. Freak's got 43 points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. 
Ross passes to Valanciunas. And that one's good. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. For Chicago, they've gone 4 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Outside Rose. At the elbow, it's Freak. Shot, high post, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Freak's got 45 points. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter, at least at the offensive end. Patterson, that's good. And here are the Bulls now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Rose dishes to Freak. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. 47 points for Freak. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And Patterson kicks to Ross. Raptors moving the ball around. And it's DeRozan missing. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Kicks to Freak. Takes it from 10. Again, Chicago. And that's exactly how they've gotten the lead right here. Easily, he's been their most consistent performer. As simple as it gets, he's hitting everything he's looked at. Keep feeding the fire. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Chicago. You're right, Steve. It was a standout performance across the board. They were just uh, at times hard to seem toying with. Yeah, like watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin. Quite yeah. honestly, they were able to do more or less, whatever they wanted to do. And on the year, this will turn out to be win number 34 for them. And just bulldozing their way through this season series. The victory here tonight makes it three games to none for the year, with one game left to play against the Raptors. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for Freak. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. And finished off by DeRozan. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he <laughs> is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. Shot and game clock separated by five. Lowry kicks to Patterson. Back to Lowry. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And this run not really doing him any good at this point as late as it's starting to evolve. Yeah, but kudos to him, Greg. I mean, the fight they're showing now, you got to give them credit for that. Would have been really easy to pack it in. That's good. Terrific run to seal the deal. Yeah, and now let's just keep an eye on how much longer they keep the foot on the accelerator. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just... Boys tonight. Well, pal, congratulations on the win. Tell the 2K Sports post-game show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Freak. It was nothing short of a professional offensive clinic he put on today. He hit shots from every place he took them, and he took a lot of them to score more than 50 points. Well, he shows just how good he can be when he's at the top of his game. And the building was stunned. You saw people leaving early, throwing popcorn, throwing hot dogs, spilling soda. He put on a CSDP, a crowd shut down performance. Man, that's what I'm talking about, Ernie. What can you say about the show he put on tonight? That was simply basketball greatness. You hardly get a player that gets that focused, that determined. He did the work of three players out there tonight and got the points to prove it. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports.